Carol Martine. I'm back in my studio to work on this second and last part of this Painty Girl. If you'll notice, I have done a little playing with my trusty black pen just to give me an idea of where I'm headed with this piece. I have also started to do some work on this girl and I'm going to finish her up today using the th toys that you see here. I've got some Prisma pencils, some Derwent ink tents, and some of my Neo Color 2s. I'm going to go in now and start to add some shading to this side of the face. I'm using, I'm using my Parma Violet to deepen the shadow areas a little bit under her eye and along her nose. I'm working very, very lightly because one can always add that taking away Prismacolor is not a happy thought. So, I'm doing my less is more theory here. to the side and add a little bit more, add a little bit more shadowing up in her hairline and down the side of her face and under her lip area and up along this area under her nose. Add a little more to this side of her neck and since she is behind this painty girl I'm going to add a little more shadowing in this area and you'll notice what nice effect we can get without making terribly much effort Alrighty. There she is. Now, I'm going to work some more in her eyes. And I'm going to add a little bit more color to her eyes with my Neo to give that a little bit more depth. There we go. And I'm actually going to add a little bit of blue up here in her eye. just a little bit and just a little bit of yellow over here. Good. Now I'm using my pencil to add the shading to her, the whites of her eyes, and up here under her lid. And 
just a little bit around the edges to round up her eyeballs a little bit. And I think that this bit is a little much, so let me see if I can't take some of that away. Yes, there it goes. Good. <clears throat> I'm going to accentuate this upper lid a bit more on both of her eyes. Maybe just the slightest hint of an eyelash. Alrighty, now Just a bit more of the lip color up here. thinking that a blue highlight might look nice. And let's see what happens with oops. Oh, that's not going to do what I want it to do. Let's see if it's going to do it up here. Yes, just a little bit. Under her eyes. And up here. Just a little bit around her top lip. And on the highlights of her nose. Sharpie water based paint pen. Here, 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 tiny ones there. And maybe just a little bit more up here. Just a little bit up in here. And here. Maybe a little bit on her upper cheekbones. Down here chin area. Yes. Back to the crease. 
in her eyelid. Oh, I almost forgot. The highlights on her lower lip. And going to use a little of our Neo Color Pink. To add a little pink to her cheek area. Just a little bit more over here. And just a little bit in her neck area. to seal that color down a little bit with a little bit of gesso to get this line out of here. Good. Now she's looking like a healthier girl. All right, now we're going to plunge into her hair will look at her eyes and back out and we'll work on her hair. I've picked these colors, my Inktense blocks, and I'm going to start with the lightest and add depth of color. So this would be my lightest shade of blonde. And down we go and over. going to move to a little bit deeper yellow. Now, I'm 
Now let's see where we are headed. with our ink tense colors. They do make a strong statement, which is basically what I was hoping for, because I want the hair to be there, but I'm practicing faces, so I don't want her hair to totally steal the eye from her face. some more color in here, in the back of her hair. Oh yes, what a difference a little bit of hair makes. And I'll dry that before we go on. When we add a little depth and darkness to these pretty to our water. Ah, uh, yes. tense for taking care of hair, or at least the suggestion of hair.
this side needs more intensity of color. Dry this before we add a little bit of darker shading. Alright, let's see where we are now, because I'm about to, I wanted it to blend, I wanted her hair to kind of lose itself a little bit into this background. As I said, I'm trying to learn, find my feet with faces. There we go. Add a little highlighting in white and stop. white 
marks all. Let's see if it's going to do what I want. No, not quite enough. Let's try a white grease pen. Ah, yes. Alrighty. Let's see what we have managed to achieve today. Yes. I think we've made a painty girl. And I'm all about her face. So, if you have enjoyed watching this process, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel. I will be back probably next week to work on this girl. for now.